Hey, how are you? Hello, my Facebook family and friends. It is so wonderful to be able to connect with you again. I've had a couple of trying weeks and last week I was sick and whoo, that bug was a nasty one, but I am so, so very happy to be up and at them again and oh my gosh, getting stronger by the moment. I can actually talk again. My lip has gone down, as you can see from the fall. I still got like a little lump that kind of tickles um, my words from time to time, but for the most part, I'm on the mend. So I thank and praise God. I thank you all for your prayers and your diligence um, in wishing me well through these whole past few weeks. It has really been something. But anyway, so I kind of want to get back on track in dealing with our path to purpose. And one of the things that was in my spirit to talk about today was dealing with being burnt out. A lot of times on our path to purpose, we can get totally burnt out in just the day-to-day -day activities. We can get burnt out on our jobs. We can get burnt out in our families. We can get burnt out with the multi- of obligations that befall us on a day-to-day -day basis. And when we get burnt out, I have found, because I've walked in that, that place, that when you're recovering from burnout, it's really, really easy to slip into a place of procrastination. It is like you just kind of want everything within you to shut down for a little while while you recover. You need your mind to rest. You need your body to rest. And in doing that, sometimes we can rest over our appointed time. Um, and we'll fall into that place of procrastination, that place of, you know what, I just don't feel like doing anything, that place of um, just let me chill, okay? It is definitely important that if you're walking in burnout, you're experiencing burnout on any level of your life that you retreat for a moment. That is very, very important. You've got to regroup. Literally, you've got to allow the regeneration of your mind, like the word of God tells us our mind is renewed daily. We need to renew it daily. And in renewing it daily, we do that in the word of God. We have to renew and rest our bodies because if we get burnt out and we're overly tired, then we're susceptible to all different kind of things that can come our way. I believe that one of the reasons why I got so sick last week was because I was tired. You know, I'm flying back and forth between Las Vegas and Atlanta all the time. I'm on the go. I've got responsibilities across the board. I've, you know, just I'm being pulled in so many different directions. And I got to that place of my body said it was tired. But in my body being tired, that left my resistance down. And so I was susceptible to um, illness until the nasty viruses and bugs that are going around. Those of you who know me, I, I really don't get sick. I thank and praise God for that. The last time I was down like I was last week was back in 2002. Okay. That tells you, I, I really, I don't get the flu. You know, I may have sniffles for a day or two and they're gone. Um, I build my body up with herbs and different things because I really believe that God developed our body to, to heal itself. Um, I, now that I'm on a, a new healthy journey, um, I'm taking my NutriBird and different products that help um, infuse my body with the vitamins and different things that I need so that I'm, I'm my energy levels are up. I mean, I have really been going and feeling great for the past couple of months, you know, weight down 15 pounds, doing really, really good. But between that travel back and forth and engaging on so many different levels of life, it caused me to get to a tired place and brought my resistance down. Plus the fact that I had the fall like a week before or two weeks before I got sick, it also, you know, it, it put my body into a certain state. So because of that, my resistance were down and I was susceptible to things. I believe that we fall into that same thing the same way I was susceptible physically. We fall into being susceptible to things mentally when we're tired and physically and spiritually. Okay. And so we have to get to that place where we learn how to rest. But 
in our resting, we want to make sure that we don't fall into that place of procrastination where we're resting to the point of not getting up, not moving ahead, not doing the things that we are called to do, not doing the things that we need to do. My great grandbaby calling my name. I'm sorry. Um, Not getting into the place of, of a slumber, a stupor, which is where we can get. The one thing that can trump procrastination is tenacity. All right. So once we get to a place of rest, then we need to get up, steady ourselves and get back into a tenacious mindset. That's why I found myself this week. It's like I missed out on everything that I needed to be accomplishing and doing last week because I was sick. But I understood that my body still was telling me, you need to lay it down for a minute. You need to rest. You need to allow me to regenerate myself. Okay. We still have to get into those places where we understand, we hear what our minds are telling us, we hear what our bodies are telling us. But once we kind of given that resting time, we've got to get up and get tenacious. This week, I find myself in a tenacious place. I find myself in a place where, you know what, I've lost time. I've lost some goals that I had set for myself for at the beginning of the year. I'm behind in the different things that I wanted to accomplish this month. So now I'm up with a tenacious spirit to wipe away that procrastinating spirit and slump that I had gotten into. Now, I'm going to be transparent and perfectly honest with you. Part of that procrastinating spirit had come upon me before I got sick. Okay. Um, I found myself, you know, in the evenings when I needed to be working on my thesis, when I needed to be doing other things, I found myself sitting up, you know, playing games on my phone and, you know, and just allowing my mind to wander. And I lost my focus on a lot of different levels. So what I made up in my mind this week was that, hey, I'm not playing any, any games this week. Um, my focus is set on the different things I need to do. I got the theses that is due within the next week. Okay. I got to catch up on that. There's just so many different things. I have, um, entrepreneurial goals. I have, you know, things that I want to accomplish with, with my side hustle, as they say, with the things that I'm doing, you know, to, to even be healthy, wealthy, and wise. There are things that I need to accomplish. There are things that I need to accomplish even on my job because I'm being elevated in another position there. So that means more responsibility, like I need more responsibility. But anyway, Lord, I thank you because promotion comes from God. But, you know, things that I need to accomplish there. So we have to set goals for ourselves. And one of those goals is to become tenacious in the things that we know we need to accomplish. So in rising up and coming out of that slumber from that burnout, We've got to make sure that we're setting our goals. And when we set our goals, that we become tenacious in carrying out those goals. I just wanted to kind of come and encourage you. We are on the 21st day of January. Think about that. This month only has 10 more days in it. We had things that we set in mind that we wanted to do in 2020 and in the first month of the year to set the tone for the year. So I am here to encourage you to rise up, get tenacious in what it is that you need to do, revisit those goals, revisit um, the value, your core values that if that you put in place when you put those goals in place, because you have to go back to why did I set this goal? What is the reason that I'm trying to accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish? We have to revisit those things. And that helps us with our tenacious spirit. That helps us to say, oh, okay, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I've got to get back on track. I got to stick up with it. So I have promised you, I promised you at the beginning of the year in our path to purpose, I am going to be that one to hold you accountable for the things that you have told yourself that you are going to accomplish this year. So we're going to come out of that burnout. We're going to come out of that procrastination. We're going to lay hold to a tenacious spirit. I looked up the word tenacity before I wanted to do the live. And one of the things, there was a couple of things that came to mind. One of the things was, it says the quality of fact of being able to grip something firmly. How firmly are you gripping your goals? How firmly have you determined in your mind that you are going to accomplish that that you set out to do? 
And the other one was the quality or fact of being very determined very determined. So we've got to get to that place of being very determined. That is that tenacious spirit. Okay. So we are going to turn this thing around. We are not going to just lay back on our laurels. We are going for it. We will accomplish that, that God has called us to do. And we will walk further on this path to purpose. You guys have a God blessed day. I love you with the love of Christ. Be blessed. Bye-bye.